Paul Mash TV. Time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up for you shortly. But don't forget about that subscribe button and bell but down there below you there. So if you click those uh, anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified. And we'd love to hear from you in the comment section if you'd like to leave a comment. And you can co uh, contact us on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. Where you can follow us and send us an inbox and comment the things there. And if you'd like to email us as well, you can. It's palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or even a solo artist and want to be on the show, go ahead and email us and we'll show you how to do that. But we love fan mail as well, so if you're just simply a fan, send us a letter and we'll be happy to get back to you on that. And all this will be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From San Diego, California today, we have Sabbath After Forever, who's a Black Sabbath tribute. Really awesome, and I think you're really going to like it. And before we get into that, here's a quick word from Galtar. It's the guitar made specifically for a woman. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this commercial. Ready in five. Galta, the musical apparel that fits any outfit. Galta, bringing heaven to earth, one gal at a time. Galta, heaven.com. Okay, we're back, and with us from uh, San Diego, California, we have Andrew Ryanjohn, and he's uh, in the band called uh, Sabbath After Forever, which is a Black Sabbath tribute, and uh, we're glad to have you here today. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I guess you must have idolized Black Sabbath when you were younger, and this was what caused you to do this uh, tribute to them. Uh, can tell us in your own words, though. Oh, yeah, I... I... I grew up with uh, my my main bands were Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, Black Sabbath, um, Foreigner, good old classic rock like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, you know it it is a great show, and of course everyone's going to see in a minute. We'll be playing a clip there. Uh, yeah, and those are pretty good influences too. You know, like you mentioned, Ariel Smith, and uh, you know, and, and those other bands, uh, really great talented artists and legends for sure right uh, did you have any others besides those or <laughs> oh plenty uh judas priest uh scorpions mm -hmm. um a lot of the 80s hair, hair metal bands um warrant um rat love rat mm -hmm. um, love all that good 80s stuff but uh the stuff from the 70s is more my style because i learned how to play blues it was the first thing i learned how to play Mm -hmm. And then I learned rock. So Tony Iommi style, that's a guitarist from Black Sabbath. His style is, is he was a blues musician too. And he turned up the distortion and everything and threw in um, one note that's not in the scale. It's not in the perfect scale. It's called a flat five. And that created the sound for Black Sabbath. Plus the lower tuning that he had to go down to when he, cut the ends of his fingers off no so that that it by accident you would think that by losing your fingertips that would be the end of your career but it's it created a whole sound and genre because of that accident because they had to tune down lower and it when he had to put on really 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 light strings that are which are almost unplayable to be able to bend them and move them and that also contributes to his style too so mm -hmm. When I got asked to play in a Black Sabbath tribute, it was right up my alley because blues and blues rock are, are right up my alley. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, that's good. Yeah. And uh, like I said, there are some more, uh, you know, uh, legends there, especially Warrant. I, I, I used to love that group. Um, well, how can we find out about more about you and uh, get your music and watch your videos and so forth? How could we do that? Well, I have a YouTube channel. It's Andrew Ryan John. And then at Sabbath After Forever. That is our um, that is our uh, Facebook. And you can find us there. 
Okay. And also, also, um, Wolf Dog at Wolf Dog Entertainment. You can go there. We are like the fifth band on the roster, on the tribute band roster. Oh. And there's a there's some videos and some pictures and a big old bio there. Okay, we'll do all that out there. I know he would love you for that, and uh, you can keep up with all the latest tours and stuff and so on. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and we're getting ready to watch this video. It's about it's mostly a demo reel. It's got about three or four minutes worth of the clips of the songs. Are, are some of those songs that are on this clip are those the ones you like to do the best, or uh, why, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, I I pick I pick those. A uh, couple of them are some of my favorite songs. They're a little deeper cuts, but of course, when you're doing a, a demo a promo video, you need to have the hits in there. So mm -hmm. like War Pigs and, and Paranoid and Fairies Wear Boots and stuff like that, you got to have those because that's and NIB. Those are the ones that got the big airplay and kind of put Black Sabbath on the map. Mm, okay, but, but you can't forget Snowblind. Snowblind is one of my favorite. Especially the little bridge on that, where you see my my singer Brian Brown. He's, in my opinion, probably the best Black Sabbath Aussie out there. Okay. Well, as I said, we'll get to that in just a second. But uh, Andrew, I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. Uh, uh, if you want to plug something out someday in the future, maybe you can come back and uh, we'll put something on for you. I would love to. Okay. Well, here it is, the demo reel from Sabbath Forever, and it and it starts right now. I need someone to show me 